ex-MLA and UDP candidate Paul Lingdor on February 7 contradicted party leader Bindu M. Lanong's prediction and said the United Democratic Party is heading towards a landslide win in this election. We are very confident. This is a very auspicious day and uh, in the sense that uh, 7, seven and also being the last day for filing of nominations uh, it shows our level of confidence that we are filing today uh, and uh, where preparedness is concerned uh, both of us Dr. Aman Bharti himself uh, are well prepared and Meghalaya should be prepared for its second uh, journey we've completed the golden duty of the state so today it's a uh, second chance for Meghalaya to re-emerge and re itself through the mandate of the people. Ask about Lanong's prediction that the UDP will not get more than 10 seats, Lingdo said, though he respects Lanong's calculation, he, however, do not agree with his prediction. Well, that is his calculation. I am not part of his calculation. I didn't know what he checked, whether he used a computer, whether he used a calculator. I So, I will respect that opinion of his without adding any of mine. Exuding confidence in winning the West Shillong seat, Lingdor said. Well, uh, why should we always uh, go to the past in order to uh, predict our future? As I said, this is Meghalaya's second innings. We've completed 50 years. This is the first year post Golden Jubilee of Meghalaya. So let's let's work. Let's take a, a fresh look at everything. To queries on freebies being distributed widely, the ex MLA washed his hands clean on the matter and said that had I been a distributor, I would have not lost the last election. Well, uh, had I been a distributor. I would not have lost the last elections. Had I used money power, I would not have. I would have sure been in the assembly till this term. But the fact that I lost because of the influence of money power should speak for itself. And uh, more importantly, uh, people look up to me as a policy maker, as someone who initiates and takes part in debates in the house. Therefore, this tag of distributing stuff uh, really should not, uh, does not worry me at all. Reacting to the statement made by the president of the Voice of the People's Party, Arden Miller Basaimod, that the regional parties in the state have no backbone, Lingdo said everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. Well, everybody is entitled to his or her own opinion. Uh, all I can say is that in the last term, uh, the UDP uh, was rejected massively by the electorate and therefore it could only win uh, 6 out of 60 seats. Uh, hence the question of uh, you know having a, a bad backbone or not having one does not arise. It is the electorate who, uh, which ultimately decided that we should have just 6 MLAs. But this time around, we are very confident because going by indications and surveys, we know for sure that we are headed towards a landslide victory in many constituencies. When asked about the party's plan to go for a post-poll alliance, the UDP leader said, See, the question of an alliance at this stage does not at all arise. If we are to admit or we are to calculate in terms of an alliance today, then uh, what is the point of, of putting up 40 candidates? Are you saying that we put up 40 candidates and then we we not working hard to win uh, 32 plus among the 40? So therefore, uh, the question of an alliance at this stage doesn't at all arise because we're trying to win uh, all the 40 seats, if not 40, at least 31 plus. Speaking about the importance of having a single party in the helms of affairs, Lingdor said. Well, as far as uh, my personal opinion is concerned, I have always been vocal. I've gone 
uh, uh, aired my view on the media several times, so you know where I stand. But all I can say is, you know, having uh, part, uh, government led by a single party uh, would be ideal for the state because then there's no no room for um, you know uh, no room for blame game because then that single party which the electorate has elected that will be responsible for all the performance it will take credit for the performance and take the blame for non-performance that single party